recipe on some leftover polenta. So I've got some polenta left over from uh, the other day, which is kind of like the offcuts. So I'm going to fry it up with some mushrooms and some onions and a little bit of butter and add some cheese. And it's just going to make a kind of relatively uh, easy, quick tea uh, from leftovers. Treating the polenta like gnocchi. So I've just cut it into irregular shapes and I've just dusted it in a little bit of semolina and then we're just frying it off. Uh, by putting it into irregular shapes, we get different kind of textures. So the thicker bits will be softer and the thinner bits will go kind of quite crunchy. Um, so it's, and it'll just be a more interesting. Some bits are gonna be darker, some bits are a bit lighter. So, but that's all fine. So that's kind of looking like it, where it needs to be. We'll just give it a little bit longer. I don't think it's gonna give it any harm. There's about 300 grams of cooked polenta there. And then we've got 300 grams of uh, the big field mushrooms about 150 grams worth of chopped onion and then we've got a handful of parsley about 25 grams of butter just finish it off and then we've got some uh, which we picked up in the supermarket some uh, dried pushini mushrooms so they were uh, from little and what little tends to do is then turn and have these special offers on so it's like loads of italian food or loads of spanish food or um, loads of french food and then when that offer's over they tend to sell the stuff off pretty cheap so these were Reduced. So I bought a few packets I kind of thought, oh, that's just kind of an interesting thing to have in the cupboard and we can add them to uh, dishes. We could make a, uh, like a cheap um, mushroom soup kind of quite quickly. Well, not cheap one because they're not that cheap, uh, but like a, an interesting mushroom soup or we could add them to other ingredients. So it's just kind of an interesting thing, one little cheap to have in the back of the cupboard. So, but they need soaking. That's the problem with them. And they need chopping as well because they can, so that this, they're not the best quality. So they can be a bit, they can be a bit stalky. Uh, for, for yeah, the stalks to be left in them. So, what we'll do is we'll take these out of there and just keep them to one side for a minute while we fry off the mushrooms and then we'll add them back once the mushrooms and the onions are cooked. Uh, I'm not going to put any garlic in because it's it's late at night. Well, not late at night. Well, it's not late, late, but it's, um, it's later. I don't really want to smell garlic and go to bed smelling of garlic later on. I know it tends to make me a bit thirsty with garlic, so I don't really want to, not really want to be thirsty. So, onions in. And we'll crank up the temperature. Get a bit of moisture, put salt in. And we'll get some moisture coming out of them. And then we'll get the, uh, the onions in. And then we'll put those mushrooms in just a little bit towards the end. So, temperature up. So this, I don't know. Mm, oh yeah. And then we've got some cheap Italian style hard cheese. I don't know what that means. Um, I don't know where it comes from. I don't know how they define it as Italian style. I don't know what makes it not Italian cheese. Um, but it's alright, it serves a purpose. And we're cooking with it, so it's fine for that. And it's actually not bad tasting. On the occasions when I fancied a bit of cheese and I haven't got any other cheese in the house, I've had a bit of that and it's nice. So, keep these moving around. There's loads of water in, mush water in mushrooms, so we just need to get rid of that water just to kind of concentrate the flavours. Which is a little bit. Boring, we'll have a little bit of butter. Which is hard because it's in the freezer. So I'll have half the butter now, and then we'll finish it off with the other half of the butter. That's a bit breaking up. I haven't peeled these mushrooms. My mum always peels them. I don't know why she peels mushrooms. I just wash them. I don't even do that. If I look at them and they look clean, then that's fine for me. That's better. So. By getting rid of the water, we're going to concentrate the flavours. Bad in butter, it'll add butter, a little bit of richness to it as well. That's better. Egg and cream quite quickly, so we'll add the onion. So by the time the mushrooms are cooked, so will the onion will be cooked. This is when I'd add the garlic. If I was adding garlic, this is when I'd add it. If you want to add garlic, this is when you add it. You can buy, I have seen packs of pre-cooked polenta 
in like plastic containers in the supermarket. So that's what I would be using if I hadn't got my own cooked polenta. But I did something with cooked polenta at the weekend, so we have leftover cooked polenta, and I purposely made more, knowing that I wanted to that I bought some mushrooms and I wanted to just make this this week. That's all right. I will get the exact recipe down. And say, uh, if you're using cooked polenta or pre-cooked polenta or if you're using dried polenta, I'll, I'll put the recipe in so you know how much polenta to make. So it's not like a bit of a guesswork. But it needs to be kind of, not a soft polenta, like if you were serving, um, what would you serve first with? Like a, you'd serve soft polenta with like a ragu. Uh, it's not a soft polenta, one. it's kind of quite a hard polenta. So you make it more like a, so it's set solid like a brick. Does that sound right? Yeah, it, it, can, it kind of sounds right with that. Right, so we'll add the dried mushrooms. It's a little bit moist. Moist, hate that word. It's a little bit wet. So we'll just end up drying out. Finishing off the cooking process, and we'll dry up as much, get off as, rid of, as much of that moisture as possible. And then we can add a bit more oil and a bit more butter. And we can add the polenta back. And the parsley, last second, give it a bit of a season. Taste now, see how we go. Mm. Get my fault. Just a bit. I'm gonna have a bit of pepper now. The polenta wasn't particularly well seasoned, so we just had a little bit more salt now. And as this starts to fry, once all the liquid's gone, it'll start to fry. We don't need to fry too much. But if we add the polenta too soon, what happens is the black colour from the mushrooms, particularly if you use these field mushrooms, these large cat field mushrooms, they're quite black on the un underside. So if you add anything to them now before all the moisture's evaporated off, they tend to make everything go, go, go black in colour, which is fine if you're making soup. You know, because you should, you'd be adding milk to it, but we don't want it to just colour everything. So, we're getting somewhere like there. No taste. No to cook. So, temperature down, butter in, which is kind of going to coat everything and just make everything just that little bit glossy. That will turn the temperature off because we don't need to heat anything now. So this bit is almost like a mushroom fricassee. So if we were to add the pasta now, that we will. That essentially, once you've got all that mixed in, that is a mushroom fricassee. Which is nice in its own, but we are going to add the polenta back to it. When you're chopping the parsley, I put the stalks in as well. Don't chop the parsley too much, because all you really tend to end up doing is chopping the flavour of the parsley into the board rather than into there, which is where I want it. So, polenta back in, and then how much cheese do we want? We'll give it a flip over. Two good portions here. Do that, mix everything in, makes everything look a little bit nicer, and then that's right. Cheese on the top, we'll give it another mix, and then put some cheese on top of that, and then we'll be done. So, relatively, relatively quick meal. What we at nine minutes, see? Wow, let's do that. Not the best pan for mixing things, so we'll do that. 
definitely need some more cheese and probably a bit on top so where are we Another quick turnover into the bowl and then a bit of cheese on top just for the sake of indulgence. There we go, leftover polenta with mushrooms for a quick dinner. So, messy board, messy cooker, it's alright, we need to clean everything up. Oh, I say two portions, I'm going to eat it all. But for a light lunch, it's only two portions. So, that's that. Put that out of the way. Bit of cheese on top. And done. Easy peasy, eh?